Well, the Mississippi Department of Transportation is now using a smart work zone system for the I-59 repavement restoration project in Forest County. You can see some of the cones here on your screen. The system aims to help improve traffic flow and prevent accidents on the roadway. Jay Harrison has a breakdown of how everything will work and what folks should look for while driving. MDOT is working a little smarter when it comes to traffic safety and flow. They're now using a new smart work zone system at the I-59 pavement restoration project in Forest County. The system collects real-time traffic info from work zones and displays it on message boards that folks can see before they get to that area. These messages might read stop traffic in 10 miles, estimating the distance from congestion or um, prepare to stop. Uh, it can also say things like um, 49, two miles, about 10 minutes away. The I-59 project spans 14 miles from the Lamar County line to just south of Moselle. MDOT spokesperson Anna Ergod says the system will help prevent congestion in areas like the I-59 and US-49 interchange. Leading up to that, we wanted to go ahead and implement the smart work zone technology as a safety measure to keep people, you know, safe once crews move to that area. North Forest Volunteer Fire Chief Brandon Odom says the department has worked 30 car accidents on 59 since the paving project started. Ergot says the system could help reduce accidents by 45 percent. Anytime that we can reduce accidents and especially reduce fatalities, saving lives, that's something that we'll definitely want to do. The project is expected to go on until at least late 2024. MDOT hopes the new system will get folks to pay attention and protect themselves and others. They tend to make better decisions. They know what to expect in terms of delays, um, the amount of traffic that they can expect, and that can prompt them to either be patient and wait it out or yes, to take an alternate yes, route. In the Pine Belt, I'm Jay Harrison, WDA M7 on your side. Now to stay up to date on traffic and MDOT projects, you can visit the MDOT website or download the MDOT traffic app.